Kakan Hun Menteri Hakasingi Palai Kala Manjur Bantung Yaka Mekalaya Education Recruitment Board MREB Bashirata Kabantung Kam Yahabaro Kikam Balai Jongatan Education Hapok Kalai Hadu Henry Ubnai Hambaya Kren Bai Kinong Tok Kubor Menteri Nang Bak Kajela Kondat Kesangma Walong Bak Kakan Hun Menteri Kala Rai Bantung Yaka MREB Bashirata Haka Jing Yalang Kakan Hun Menteri Kala Rai Ru Ban Ai Keteng Temai Katanat Labor Syakatanat Labor Employment and Skill Development we will be constituting a permanent Meghalaya Education Recruitment Board. As you are aware that we had come out with a Health Recruitment Board. Uh, and the main reason for this was that uh, there were a large number of vacancies and MPSC was not able to conduct the examinations on time. And uh, if you recall, we had a gap of about five years for the teachers, uh, for the uh, doctors to be appointed. But uh, as soon as we came out with the Health Recruitment Board, we were able to recruit 500 doctors in a matter of uh, three months' time. Similarly, there are close to about uh, 187 uh, vacancies as we speak in the uh, education, especially in the, the higher and technical education, uh, even um, secondary and higher secondary and other levels. And hence, uh, we strongly feel, and in some cases, uh, the education, the vacancies have been there for almost three to four, four years also. And hence, uh, we strongly feel this should, board should become a uh, bit there. And uh, this recruitment board should complete the recruitment process within the next uh, three months to maximum six months time for these vacancies. And another decision which we took was that this recruitment board will also be the overall arching board that is going to take care of the recruitments of all education related matters and hence school teachers education also once we complete this current phase of recruitment of teachers which is going on then this also will be brought in within this recruitment board for education so that there is one education recruitment board uh, but the procedures and processes that are being followed for the respective recruitments will continue as they are right now because uh, school teachers are done at the dis division level and uh, therefore, uh, those processes will not change, but the entire, uh, you know, the management of the recruitment will come under uh, this particular education board. So that was also another major decision. And we are hopeful that with this decision, all the vacancies that are there pending in the education department will be filled up uh, very, very soon. As I said, uh, within three to six months, we expect to complete it. The fourth decision that was taken today was the renaming of the labor department. As you're aware, that labor department um, is much broader than just simply looking at labor. It looks at other aspects of employment and many aspects of skill development. And hence, we found it appropriate that the labor department's name as well as their activities should be broadened. Uh, the activities already are broad and skill development to a large extent takes place via the labor department and hence uh, we have decided to name the rename the department of labor as department of labor employment and skill development